And this is Brooks Signature. Two bus stops in Springleaf MRT. You have a lot of nature reserves surrounding yep. the plots right here. Hey, if Joseph fall in, that would be that would be the end of today. <laughs> Developers save the best for the last. Extra, extra tall, extra high ceiling. Is it Porsche or Porsche? Wow, marigold milk. Oh, the... <laughs> and this is Brooks Signature. Today we're at Springside View, one of the newest clusters in the Springside Springleaf area. We have right. a beautiful corner terrace to show you today. And corner terraces are extremely rare because out of the entire row of terraces, only two of them are right at the corner and we're with one of them. And this is District 26, so if you'd like to live in a pure landed enclave right here in the Springside Spring Leaf Zoning, this is the one for you. This house is barely three and a half years old. We're heading in to show you one of the designer unit that used to be a show flat. So let's follow Beatrice and myself today for Propton Bros Landed Home Tour. Let's go. Alright, so before we head in, let's chat a little bit about the car porch area because this allows you to park two very generous sized cars. I think if you leave your automated gate open, you can even park up to three. We have uh, shelters all the way until the very front portion so your kids can actually play here. On top of the car porch space, you also have extra garden space. So if you have green fingers, you like to do some gardening. As you hit behind along the side, that's your pool deck a little wading pool that you have. So in this front porch area, you also have this additional sort of uh, seating area here before you head out. This is like a very cushiony area. Yeah, so I think you can just... If you want to lie down, also can, uh, really. <laughs> so, but you can just sit on the floor and change your shoes. Shoe cabinetry, four panels, a pre-built <laughs> Porsche. Is it Porsche or Porsche? Charging. Definitely Porsche, okay. You are oh, charging oh. pot. All right, so let's head in and have a look. So this was a show unit. Developer saved the best for the last. How much was the total uh, renovation investment in this space? Uh, so the total renovation investment is about 350000 When the sellers bought it, they paid a premium of about 250 k for this ID unit. And then they pumped in another 100000 worth of renovation. We have storage spending across from your living all the way to your dining area. Yeah, that's pretty nice. Yeah. And uh, with a built-in dining table that's attached to the feature wall as well. Ceiling height in the uh, living room is 3.2 meters. The more you shift from living to dining, this is 9.9 .9 meters. This staircase feature for the TX series is pretty unique because it acts as like a separation zone for your living and dining space, mm -hmm. having that staircase right in the middle. And that gives a very nice feel when you look up because yeah. these are all steel frame stairway design with a nice clear glass. We are in this series called the TX series. So there were three different distinct designs when the developers developed Brooks Signature. So Brooks Signature is the latest mm. series that uh, come out within the Springside Enclave. So this was developed in the year 2017. The very first batch was the Springside Drive. Springside Drive and so, we sold one house yeah. in the late 2020. Mm. Recently we sold another one also yeah. at Springside Drive. That was like 1990. 98, 97. 1998, 97. And early 2000 uh, spring, Springside Walk, Springside right. Place. Springside Crescent, so further in, like the area that we're in here, be the newer builds that. So TX series have this very distinct triple loft sort of ceiling. So you have this extra, extra tall, extra high ceiling. This and is this 9. is like 9.9. 9. 9. We just do a measurement just now. Yeah, 9.9 yeah. meters. Right. So you can do an A and A and then push out, extend your bedrooms. So this void area, it can be usable space. You can have a extended room la, in that sense, a bigger room. Perhaps maybe five to eight years time after you live here for a little while, your family expanded, you want mm. a little bit more space, you can do that. We can also do the walkout balcony right from level two. So later as we head up, yeah. we'll chat more about the options. Maybe let's head back to the living room first. If you've seen our previous uh, episodes on some of the inter-terraces home tour, this is actually in a very uh, favorable green lung portion of Singapore because you have a lot of nature reserves surrounding yeah. the plots right here. It is a pure landed enclave. There's no mixture of public housing, high-rise condominiums. I think, in fact, the only two projects fronting towards uh, the main will be the Brooks yeah. 1 and 2. And then, how many bus stops to Springleaf MRT Station? Uh, two bus stops to Springleaf MRT. The MRT is slated to open 
and I think late of this year. Thompson East Coast Line is of course one of the most sought after line because that will link you all the way to Orchard and then you can hit towards Marina Bay Sands in future when the North-South Highway is being done in the next 5 to 10 years. That also bring about a lot of connectivity right here. <laughs> so the land size that we're sitting on, this is 2677 square feet. Um, current build-out is about 3,008. Six bedrooms, seven bathrooms. Plot width is 8 meters. The plot depth is 31.1 meters. This can go all the way up to 3.5 stories. So this is already fully yeah. built up for you. What this means is that this is very suitable for families that doesn't want to have any hassle. You don't want to spend time to rebuild. You don't want to spend like 24 months to rent outside with your family and then talk to builders and architects for 24 months and you want just something that is really moving. Let's have a look at the pool, Beatrice. by 1.5 meters along your setback. Currently, your setback is about close to 2 meters. Mm. So for corner terraces, you get this bonus space that you don't get in a normal inter-terrace. In the past, semi-detached lands used to be 4,000 plus square feet. As the years goes by, there were a lot of subdivisions that went on. The modern semi-detached land right now, as we see in the markets on the new builds, are already about 2,006 to maybe 2,800 square feet. So this corner terrace, in terms of its land size, is mm. pretty comparable to some of the newer built semi-detached as well. And in fact, a corner terrace, based on its character Characteristics is structured and built is very very similar to semi D's because semi D similar to the corner terrace you have one side that is openable inter terraces are usually row of houses that is mm. uh, side by side to each other so usually inter terraces will have to depend on the architecture of skylight coming from the top in order not to have a very dark dining space which uh, I mean a lot of houses right here they also have that feature but I think the beauty about corner terrace Beatrice is that you have that option to walk out to the side huge span of window space on the left hand side of course from the front and the back flooring wise these are all marble very nicely maintained decking on the left hand side we love the fact that there's this like sunken in portion for you to step out to the deck so this is a place that you enter the pool our owners love to have artificial turf or natural turf. Artificial, artificial. turf. At different parts of the house, you get to see the artificial turf. I think this outdoor zone is great. There's even a pool toilet. After you're done, you don't have to head back in. Sure, let's go and let's go and check it out. This is a place. But when your kids are done swimming or your guests, they can wash up here. Yeah, they, they don't have to head, head in, in, right? And then, of course, this nice backyard alfresco dining space. Owners, they also did up this really beautiful plant wall. Yes. So this costs quite a bit. Add more greenery yep. to this uh, backyard space. Yeah, in fact, when the owner was showing us, he said that they spent a lot of time here right at the backyard because it's yeah. also a sheltered ceiling fan already done right here so you can have outdoor dining, enjoy a little bit about the fresh air coming from the back of the house. You have your wet kitchen area. After a night of heavy cooking, you just shift everything here, wash up here, dry your dishes here. I think this is like really the wet zone mm. for you to enjoy. Let's head in from the back of the house. So this is the kitchen that was completely redone. So all this cabinetry is new. They changed the original cabinetry that the developer provided. Ventilation window here. And then you'll notice that this fully enclosed kitchen has lots of storage space. Top and bottom cabinetry. And they built all the way to the top. They also extended this part outward so the kitchen countertop space is slightly larger. Lots of plugs are really done. Microwave. Microwave. The fridge space, a lot of storage options at the top as well. So over on this side, this is like your granny room. Mm. Uh, but currently they're using this sort of like an entertainment room. A wardrobe that's already been built in. This can be a room. You can put in a, a single bed here. Yeah. So if you want to put a super single or maybe a um, kind of sofa bed system, this can also be done. So TV console space with storage is already done here. Side windows overlooking towards the pool. Oh, we forgot to mention that they have like a barbecue system right here. But of course that's not included. Room. There's one more space here, which this is, is the powder room. Oh, it's actually a bathroom. Oh. Yeah, there's bathing facilities. Let's share a little bit about the types of landed properties that you will see in the market right now, especially in the D26. So when we look at uh, corner terraces right here, one is the very oldish type, yeah. which is very suitable for rebuild in future. Maybe currently is about two and a half story, built in the 1990s period. I would say that this current house that we're standing right now, it falls within the midsection of the third and the fourth type. Fourth type being the brand new, brand new type from developer that has just TOP'd. So brand new, brand new type, definitely you have to go for the premium because 
because you are buying the opportunity cost that the developer has undertaken for the last two years to buy an old land and reconstruct a brand new landed property to sell off to you. So naturally, in terms of overall price premium, that will be at a higher tier range. This is currently only three and a half years old. Asking price is 4.98 million. If you look at the entire comparatives right here, most of the corner terraces that is ongoing in the market, they fall within the range of about 4.2 all the way to about 4.6 and 4.7 million dollars range. Some of them have four bedrooms, some of them have five bedrooms, some of them a little bit smaller, a little bit bigger. But I would say that the end comparison that you want to have is to look at the structure sitting on top of the land. you have currently a study room and then you also have the master suite. Shall we check out the study first? Yes, let's go. All the built-in cabinetry, this is all done up. TV console over here. I think in future, if you really need to want to have that balcony walk out on level 2, you can do an A&A &A here. Now with the new ruling, this is like an auto approval with BCA. Mm. All you need to do is of course you need to get a certified PE professional engineer to certify the load bearing mm. is good for the balcony car porch area. Again, a certified builder to do up an A and A this portion here. So you can walk up. But of course your level one car porch area is really huge enough, your back garden, side garden. So I don't think that is necessary right now, but maybe in future in about eight years time. This portion you also get to see the very high ceiling of your level one part at the TV console area. There's this little window seat here with storage underneath. Shelving here as well. Now let's have a look at the ensuite. WC is on the other side of the shower. Lots of natural light coming into this WC. Long span of mirror across this wall. The clever design is that there's no yeah. like swing doors. These are all sliding panel. It saves yeah. more space. Yeah. Have a look at the landing on each level when you come from a staircase. You have this side windows and only the corner terraces will enjoy this because in the terraces, will be a flat wall. This is the area that we're talking about, possibility of extending mm. outwards to utilize the void area. Just try to imagine, we'll try to put out some graphics here for you. So the moment you pump outwards, this becomes an additional space, either as your study room or super huge uh, walking wardrobe area. Yeah. And then when you head up to level three, you can pump outwards as well for the junior master. Yeah. It will then expand the size of the master. By default, it's already very big. Yeah. yeah, so you have to decide whether do you really want to do that. Furthermore, you have this extension of the balcony from this area. You get to enjoy this really nice greenery view. Yep, the sound of nature. Should we say crickets? So this is all protected area, so the greenery is likely to stay. It's very rare for a landed house to have this kind of view because most landed properties at the back of a house will be another house. You're mm. usually looking into another neighbor's bedroom. Yeah. King bed, yeah. side tables, yeah. beautiful wall panelling already done. The master is really very tastefully done. I like this little chair moment over here. Chair moment? <laughs> yeah, it's That's like, a nice phrase. And then as you move in towards, this is your walk-in wardrobe wow. area. Wow, look at the handbags. Six door wardrobe panels. Yeah. And then you have your really spacious master ensuite. Right, yeah. let's head in and have a look. So rain shower. Top fully done portion will be things like this because you have extra space to put in your toiletries and mm. things like that. Marble finishing. Right. And you notice that in all of the bathrooms, it's this sort of a floating vanity sort of concept. Mm. It's not like your usual... Mm. Yeah, it's pretty yeah. nice. Uh, mm. Easy to maintain as well. Yeah. I think in terms of like the number of pull outs, you can have a look here. Five additional areas to have more storage space. If somebody wants to have a little bit more wardrobe space, they can modify this area. Yeah. Be another two door That's wardrobe right. system right here. Yeah. So within this room, you also have that control panel. So I think really well planned right from the start. Sometimes only when you buy landed properties that were built within the last five years, then you get all this kind of new design that comes pre-built with the house. Yes. Let's head up to level three. Sometimes when staircases are being built, mm. a lot of parents are a little bit concerned about the height protection for kids. I mean like 1.8 meters, this is I mean just along the ascending portion of the staircase, this is already at my shoulder level, so it's, it's really safe for children. You get to see this 9.9 meters loft at your dining space that allows you to put this beautiful ball light feature. We're here at level three and our two bedrooms. A really good size bedroom. You can put in a queen bed here. Similarly, um, all this cabinetry has already done the study area here. 
wardrobe space over there. Okay, so we have a hopscotch. Yeah, so Artificial turf. Come, uh, Beatrice, demonstrate. Oh, it's been Relieve years, your childhood. Man. It's been years. Hop, oh. Hop. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> they also masked up this portion here yeah. for a little bit more privacy to the neighbor's unit. Something to note about the Brooks Signature Collection is that this is the only series with this kind of very nice louver design. It's very distinct when your friends come kind of visit you, they drive along this entire Brooks Signature row of landed properties. You just need to tell them Brooks Signature, they will immediately recognize that because the louvers are all done in a very nice futuristic design. This is allowing you to build a, like a green wall along the louvers as well, so you can use this as a gardening space. From the outside, it seems like architectural design, but it acts like a built balcony space so that the heat doesn't travel into the home. The ventilation actually settles heat that usually comes from the front of the house. All bedrooms as mentioned by Beatrice are all en suite. This level as well, this is the part that you can build outwards if you want to do A and A. So when you do A and A, subject to BCA approval, and of course you know you get PE and all that. But this is really worth it if you want to have a lot more extra space. Although the build up is already three thousand eight hundred square feet. Yeah, but this is really for families that wants that expansion in future. This bedroom, I mean, you also have a side balcony. They've done like a little putting green. Yeah. For this ensuite, you've got the WC next to the sink. Also, a very good size shower. Slightly shorter in terms of breadth of the toilet. But uh, all in all, very good size and very well uh, ventilated and well lit. I think this room is very suitable for the kids as well. Yeah. It can be a boys' room, it can be a daughter's room. Study table yeah. is done. Notice that uh, Beatrice, this intercom system is throughout in all the bedrooms. Really well thought out. Three panel wardrobe space. This room is fantastic. Yeah. If you have teenage kids at home, they definitely want to have the attic level. Let's have a look. So on the attic, we have the roof terrace. Everybody can come here. So artificial turf on the roof terrace. That's all really nicely done. If you prefer the regular decking or sort of tiles, mm. then you can just remove the artificial turf. All right. Yeah. Look at the size of this room, this yeah. is great. Queen bed, TV console, this gaming zone, three door wardrobe, and this ceiling height is great. I think this is at least about four meters right here. Yeah, they've done up the paneling all across the walls also. Two sides of windows along these two sides of the wall. Right. En suite, you have a full length mirror all along the side of the wall shower area, pool, very large windows. Use this as a family room for board yeah. games. Don't let your kids have this room, right? Yeah, because yeah. when you shout at them, they cannot hear that dinner is ready. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so similarly, in the comp, now it's time to talk a little bit about the pricing analysis. Yeah. What are some of the core differences between buying a ID, uh, which is designer renovated landed mm. versus a non renovated tile landed property. Mm. The main difference is, I think, in terms of the your initial cash outlay. So, for example, if you were to purchase a corner terrace at 3.3 million around this area, that is more suitable for rebuild. And rebuild cost now is around $350 PSF. And to achieve, say, a build up of around 3,800 square feet, that will be about 1.5 million plus minus thereabouts, which will then bring your total cost to 4.8 million which is pretty similar to the purchase price at Springside View over here. Doing a deeper dive into the cash outlay, it will then bring you to a total of 165000 for the 5% cash, assuming you are paying the 20% and stamp duties via CPF. Rebuilt cost at $1.5 million. The total cash outlay for the home will be $1.65 million. Of course, you can take a reconstruction loan for the rebuild as well. And other things to consider will be the time taken and opportunity cost spent for two years to do your rebuild project. This is really for some Somebody that wants a hassle free yeah. and the renovation here is very timeless, it's yeah. modern, you can tweak the tonality very easily by paintwork and wallpapers because the default renovation in terms of design and reno style is a more modern kind of scandy kind of feel, so very easy for you to modify that. 
Thank you for staying with us throughout the home tour. And uh, if you'd like to have a look at this place at uh, Brooks Signature, give a call to our listing manager and uh, they'll be very happy to show the place. And of course, when you come for all viewings with Prop in Brothers, we will share with you the landed report that we have prepared for you yeah. uh, in detail on some of the possibilities that you can still do for your home five to eight years later, a little bit of a and &E, a renovation kind of concepts. And do remember to follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube, and we're also on TikTok. My name is Belvin Lim. Prop to Lim Brothers. Always, always happy to show you the place. Okay, okay. Okay, never mind. Let's go in. It's quiet now. It's quiet now. Three. Go. Now, this is Brooke's signature. Yep, this is. Yeah, then you say today. La, ready. Okay, yeah. Is the exact type of corner terrace uh, should. Uh, okay, okay, one more time. Yeah, so maybe you will be thinking um, about what kind of corner terraces should. Uh, okay, ready. Alright, so maybe you might be.